Hello. Hello together, you can hear me? Very good. I have a short disclaimer. This presentation will be held in English, so no translation for the translator needed. So thank you very much to be here for our first session today. And you see our topic. We try to establish digital continuity for a new OEM, for our customer in India, Celestial, with our partner Bertrand. Before starting with the very exciting elements, I have a short lesson for you, because we are talking we about a new it service it. called New OEM. So what is the OEM? The OEM is a company building something, a table, a car, a presenter, or a tractor. And what is a new OEM? A new OEM is a company who changes something, who is a game changer. And to display this, we have prepared a short movie for you. So, next year, Ralph will go with the track on the stage. But until then, I'm very proud to present the CEO, CTO from Celestial, my friends and our good customers, Syed and Sid. Amen. Very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's a very hot day today. And you know, the reason why it's hot today there are two hot Indian guys here <laughs> doing a hot product, which is electrifying. And here's our story today. We are celestial. Celestial is nothing but alignment of all the stars together. And we, we've always wanted to harness the power of wind, solar. So here we are today, harnessing the power of electricity to build electric tractor. So let me give you a background to the story. I'm sure all of us have had wines. And one of my interesting first investor is a guy who owns a wine yard. And then I asked him, what is the best flavor of wine he has ever built? And then he said, there's a flavor of wine which is smoky. I said, wow, that's interesting. And then he was very proud about it. And then I said, gentlemen, Wines are smoky. It's not the grapes that are smoky. It's the diesel tractor that are using is giving you the smoky flavor of wine. Don't do that. Don't smoke our bodies out of what we need to be clean. So we talk talking so much about clean and green, but we eat everything that is run in a diesel tractor in a field that smokes out, guzzles out. $10 per hour as the fuel, and that's what we eat. And that's exactly what we have tried changing. We wanted the power of everything in the world, but it doesn't mean, I mean, I'm in Porsche MHP. Power doesn't mean always noise or smoke. It can also be silent. That's, the, that's called the stealth power, and that's exactly what we did. So, uh, good afternoon again. Thanks to MHP, thanks to Mike for this opportunity. Uh, I'm basically a mechanical engineer, uh, product design, cost uh, consulting, and uh, building lithium batteries has been my area of expertise. Uh, here we are today uh, trying to solve a problem. What I've known is a morsel of food on your table, I've been taught this way that 
comes out as 360 people's efforts that brings that little uh, uh, piece of meal on your on your on your table. And uh, today, the mechanization has reduced the factor of human labor, but the cost to produce is so high that the person who's making this food is actually starving or having less for himself. What we're trying to do with uh, electrifying uh, this part of the productive par part of farming is uh, the ability to produce it very while also giving more money for the person who's actually doing the farming to take home for himself. So, we talk about so many products that are built. We talk about electric cars. We talk, talk about a lot of uh, reasons on why we need to go green. Now, let me give you some of the analogies on how an electric tractor can make a difference to everybody in the supply chain. I mean, we have an inverted pyramid, but the farmers who are putting food on our table, they're probably the lowest of the entire pyramid. Now, let me just give you a, a small example. Each and every product that we build or use today consumes heavy amount of fuel. But a tractor, it consumes 10 times more fuel than any of the products that we use. So with an electric vehicle, if you can solve, so when we are talking about electric, we are talking about getting your per hour consumption to less than 30 cents. And where, where is 10 euro per hour to 30 cents? So which means that's truly green farming. We are not just talking about empowering the guys that are at the lower segment of our pyramid, but we are talking about changing the entire ecosystem and building something that is really revolutionary. And in this journey, the celestial journey, we are now part of a very large Indian conglomerate called the Murgapa Group that has given us that entire ecosystem where we have two million tractors as the marketplace to sell. Thank you, Sid. So to start the journey, we are now operating with Celestial and with our partner Bertrand together. The vice presidents are sitting here. Hello, guys. And we start the journey. And um, we are a consulting company, so we start with cool PowerPoint slides like this. And um, the first thing we have to establish is the product, is the value of the product, is the engineering. And all of you, or the most of you know these slides. We have processes, we have objects, we have information. We have to fulfill a lot of requirements to do this with IT and PLM to our home turf, with people, we need people, we need a people organization to fulfill the customer needs at the end day. This is a lot of information. That's the reason why Bertrand and MHP condensed a portfolio framework for new customers, for new OEMs, what is important to start with. And two days ago, we have started a workshop in Munich, and in this workshop, we started with the first three elements, because the structure of the product the business model to sell the tractor or to rent the tractor is, is crucial for the start. And even this is a lot, so we condensed it a little bit more. Together with Bertrand, we have the operational, the execution of the engineering, and we have the enablement, the framework of the tractor engineering. Looking one step back, our new OEMs customers like these crazy guys, <laughs> they need three dimensions for, for starting their business. Of course, first, a company enablement. There are so many things to start with a company. Engineering is the first because it's the value. It's the heart of the company, of course. But nevertheless, there are much, much more things to figure out. We have the execution, the real doing, not the PowerPoint, the real engineering, the real business, the real industrialization, the real manufacturing. And of course, to be speedy, to get quick on market, um, we need a digital infrastructure. And next step back, currently we are discussing the first dot. We are discussing the R&D dot, as we said. This is the heart of the product. This is the, the heart of the company, the value. But the others have to become later. And this is MHP in total. So when we defined everything for the first step, we could discuss finance, controlling, HR, sales, and so on, so on. But now let us start with engineering. And next well, slide for Sid. Yeah, yeah. So we are all uh, 
I don't call, uh, mind calling myself as a daydreamer. But yes, we dream, be it night or day, we dream. Somebody has to snap us out of our dreams, and that's what Michael and probably our partner in Betran will do. So, but that doesn't mean that I'm going to make a difference between my dream and reality. The gap between my dream and reality is what MHP and Betran will bridge. They will get my dream into reality, and that's exactly what this partnership is all about. And I'm very, very gungo to be here, and I'm very, very eager to take this partnership to a next level where we not only create and make our dreams reality, but make also other people's dream and then get to this reality and show the world that it is possible. So the, the, the thing about this uh, approach that we also have is digitalization will give our team members, uh, the participants, not the focus of just being uh, subject matter experts or taskmasters in their own domain, but actually co-create, co-own a product of relevance in a way that could be backtracked to see how these ideas were, where these iterations came from, and so on and so forth. Why we could do this? Because we carry you know, baggage of being an OEM with some money stuck up in some sort of a work that can, has to be amortized. So we start afresh, we start clean, and like Mike showed earlier, we are in the piece where the R&D part is done, the prototyping is ready, and we are in the, in the way of getting to be what we can be, which is a game-changing, sustainable OEM. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's a very, very important day for us out here, sure. and what we are trying to bring to the world is not change in paper, not just change in the seeds of a paper, but I'm saying let's go about do the change in reality. And trust me, all it just takes is one gutsy moment, one gutsy way to say, hey, bring in the right partners. Things will fall in place. It's, it's, it's finally a, a jigsaw puzzle. Thanks a lot, gentlemen, and really greatly appreciate being here. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.